you need for this cute little snowman and snowwoman painting is your primary colors of red, yellow, and blue. And that's cad red, cad yellow, and ultramarine blue, and sap green, and burnt umber, and black, and white. Tantanium white usually works pretty good. So have those on hand or any colors that you have on hand as long as you got your primary colors you'll be fine. And then you can get your brushes ready. I'm just getting my bottled water here and my brushes and I'm just taking um, what I think I'm going to need. So you don't have to have the ex exact brushes but it's nice to have some bristle brushes on hand which is, we may or may not use this, that's my sign, signature sign brush, and this is the, uh, I think that's the number 8 bristle brush, and I'm just going to have those in hand, and I also, I'm going to have a flat synthetic brush on hand, flat, that's probably number 6, doesn't have to be that big, just as long as i got a chiseled edge, works really good, in case you don't have a fan brush, so we get a fan brush that's wonderful and if we don't just use the flat flat synthetic brush and what else we got I have a smaller bristle brush very small one as you can see the bristles are open down there and that's what I need to get that nice snow effect so bristle brush we're going to need for your snow effect and I also have a sable or synthetic filbert brush I love filbert brushes when you're doing round uh, anything round it's really nice it goes around makes sure helps you with your circles and that's about it I just have another small one here another small filbert I may or may not use it but I like to have it on hand and I have a small liner brush so um, have that those materials on hand if you don't have them all don't worry about it. as long as you got the main ones which is a flat synthetic brush and a bristle brush and a liner brush and uh, I think that will be enough to get you by so let's uh, see what else we need so you're going to need you have your colors so you're going to need maybe a toothpick always have a little few things on hand a toothpick um, let's see let's see maybe something small and round for the little buttons maybe you know, we'll, um, I like to uh, have something that I can make a perfect circle sometimes, even though they don't turn out perfect, but that's fine. So let's, um, let's get started on this cute little painting. So also what you could do is get a piece of chalk. Now you can use chalk or you can use a pencil. I you like to use chalk in case I don't get what I'm looking for. So today we're not going to do the background first. I know it's a something that I normally do but in this case I want the snow people to be really bright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my green chalk you have to have something that you can see and draw a circle for the head good and a bigger circle for the body don't have to be perfect right now because we're going to be going over it see pretty simple just might put a little neck in there just in case and then I'm going to do the other person. This is going to be a snowman. This is going to be a snowwoman. How's that? So we'll make the head a little smaller. And we'll make the body a little bit smaller. Good. So that's all you need is just two shapes. And then we'll go from there. Now I'm going to take... To get these guys started, I'm going to take some blue. We want to get an underpainting for our snow people. And the underpainting, I want it to be fairly dark because we'll be light lighting it up a little later. So just get a nice dark purplish color. Doesn't matter if it's on the red side or the blue side. And then just add a little bit of white to it to brighten it up a small bit. All right, so I'm just mixing up some color here just to show you what I'm doing. There you go. I had a bit of white to brighten it up for you because if I have it too dark, you may not be able to see it. So let's get 
this started. So once you get this on, then you will be able to see that the filbert brush, how nice it goes around the corner. Isn't that nice? That's your filbert brush. These are beautiful filbert brushes. I got to say, I got these filbert brushes. I don't know where, to tell you the truth. There's no name on them. There's no brand name on them. There's, and, and they're so beautiful. I can't believe it. And they're so sturdy and they, they're synthetic, I believe. And they, uh, have these different brushes. It came in a package. I really can't remember where I got them. Just look at that one. Isn't that cool? Beautiful. I love them. And I don't know where I got them. If I can find out, I'll let you know. Um, you can always email me at alisonpriorityahoo.com in case I do find them. And then I can give you the link or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll check it out for you. Anyway, I love these. Look how soft and smooth they work. They're, they're so... You know, it's it. You may go through a ton of brushes before you find the ones that you really like, and when you finally find the ones that you really like, then you can't find them in the stores anymore. It's like, where did they go? They were so nice. So just take care of your brushes. I'll do a video on how to look after your brushes, uh, probably a little later down the road. Okay, so let's keep doing our snowman this is our snowman and just get the underpainting on first okay because that way what happens there is you get to shape it up and any shape that is odd you can always fix it up but look at that filbert brush going around that corner isn't that nice look really nice and because you have good brushes or nice brushes you can get your painting makes it much easier to get your painting done without too much frustration. So I'm just playing, getting my paint on. Now, these snow people are a little bigger than the ones that were in the original painting or so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because the basic thing I want to teach you is how to paint a snowman and whatever you put around your snowman is up to you okay so I just made a simple background and like I said I did my background Latin my background last because um, I wanted to concentrate on these snow people so Let's keep it going now. Get our color, background color, our underpainting. And that way, see, you can you can straighten up the lines. Whoops. All right. A little bit of a shadow there. All right. Now, <laughs> cute, cute little head, and get your background shading on. Let's go over here. There we go. You can see how I'm, I'm going outside the lines that I already made because I want to get the shape that I want. The chalk was only just to get an idea of what shape and where you're going to put it on your canvas. It's 11 by 14 canvas, by the way. And so don't worry about everything being perfect right away. Just get something on there. Something that's close to what you're trying to get and then you can worry about it later. As you'll see us going along right now, you're going to see how these things improve as you're going along. There we go. Oops. So I'm just going to get scrape that out there. I'll leave that one up there a little bit. Oh, that's cute. There we go. That's a good start. Now using the same brush, pick up some white. Even if your brush is dirty, it's okay. Pick up some white. And we're going to have the sun on this side coming in through the left 
and so we're going to have the highlight on the left but see look that's not quite the highlight so just go start on the left and on the left we'll get some of that on there isn't that pretty just by doing that that's cool keep going now don't get any more paint just keep going over now this side goes around this way so try to go with the shape okay go with the shape keep going you might lose some of your underpainting by the time we finish this but that's okay let's do the other one so you pick up more paint for the other one all right so here we go good hopefully your paint is still wet if it's not it should still be okay if you got any problems blending it then you just put some more blue back in there put your underpainting back on if you can work with this wet on wet it'll probably give you better results good we're getting there all right another coat of white I got a dirty brush it's fine with me and I'm putting some white on my filbert synthetic brush what size is that you may ask I'm thinking because the brush is dirty I can't find the size on it but I think it's a size six okay so let's do this again all right now you can really straighten up those lines that you put in the chalk line and if the chalk line is still there after you're finished you just get it off with a damp, a damp brush good and now we'll do the other side again good and come right in come right in and then come around that side good see how you go round 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 you go now my paint is still wet underneath so if your paint dries you might get a different effect if it dries just put on your uh, your um, underpainting again uh, alongside of the wet paint and then it'll all blend really nice together okay so I got more paint for this little person over here I'm putting on more white coming down here now I can clean up my edges you might have to do it a couple of times till you get what you're looking for and then we go around the other side and around 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 we go good so we're getting somewhere not cute all right fix up anything that needs to be fixed all right that looks good now hopefully it's still wet and if it's not like I say put back some wet paint you know some of your white and your underpainting and and if you want to work in small sections at a time and that way it'll stay wet for you but here's now where your bristle brush comes in so I have my number six or eight bristle depends on the size that you're working on some people might be looking at this video and, and using a six by eight canvas or eight by ten so you'll need a smaller brush than this okay but if you use 11 by 14 that's the size I'm using for now and then I'm going to tap into some of my white I'll tap in and I'm going to tap into a little bit of that mixture I made for the underpainting okay so I'm just tap 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 see that see that look right there that's what we want on the snow people so we're going to tap 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 and that will give you a texture to the snow tap 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 stay over to the left okay stay over to the left for now come down here tap 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 hopefully it's still wet if it's not it should work pretty good but you're gonna need those shadows so work wet on wet if you can and like I said do it in sections finish one section first maybe the head and then you can move on to the body uh, to keep your paint wet if your paint if you want to keep your paint wet just take a little spray bottle 
and spray some a little bit of water on there just to keep it keep it wet okay so now what you're going to do is you're going to take that brush you're not going to get any more paint on it okay and you're just going to tap at this part here and you're going to tap it over to the end see that way you don't lose your shadow on that right side but yet it's still nice and bright on the left side okay so I'm going to move that over tap 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 move it over okay move it over tap 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 move 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 so just tap it over and that gives you like nice texture onto your snow the snowy look good now we're not finished yet get more paint now for your other one over here Boy, we got a shadow going on here. I'm going to see if I can fix that for you. All right, so here we go. Tap, 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 tap. And down here. That's where the sun is. It's on the left. There we go. See the texture? Now move that over here. All the way over. And same with this one. So you can still see your underpainting. That's the good thing about tapping too, is you can still see your underpainting. It's not going to cover it all up. You're not going to end up, you know, making, blending everything together. You're just tapping on top of what you did. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, let's try more highlights on the left side. I've still got my brush, so I have my brush. I'm tapping it into my hand so I can spread open. See? Spread those open. Grab a bit of white and tap on the left. Now gently tap, does it you know there's no um Yes, you can still, I can hear you out there now. Do I still tap into the underpainting mixture? You, as you get closer to getting your highlights highlight as much as you can, then just go into your pure white uh, with a clean brush so you can get it, start getting it really nice and bright. So I can read your minds, you know. I can read your minds. Yep. And I must say, you guys really give me some nice compliments. Thank you very much. All right, so. So now we're going to move this over a little bit. So we still want to keep that shadow on that side. If we lose that shadow on that side, we'll just put it back. No big deal. So move that over. Move it on over. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. There we go. Tap, 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 tap. See how it's starting to brighten up? You know, I mean, I could easily um, speed this up and, and just move on because it's because you can see what I'm doing. But I don't. I like I say, I do everything in real time, step by step. If you get, you want to move faster, just fast forward. Just fast forward yourself, sure. And all right, so then we can just move that over because I want you to see all my mistakes and everything that I make and things that I'm doing. If you fast forward or if you go in fast speed, or you know, you can't see all the little things that you could be fixing or doing or working. I don't know, it just seems I like looking at them because I'm I kind of know what everybody's doing, but if I'm brand new, I couldn't I couldn't follow them because. I was brand new, so I was like, well, I'd love to be able to learn how to do that. So there we go. There we go. So we'll be bright, brightening this up again. I'm going to let it dry. I think we'll get some more brights as it dries. Okay, so now we can, we can let it dry so we can brighten it up even more. All right. Now these look like they're more dry. So I'm going to try some more white paint. So I'm going to put them 
see I have lots of paint on my brush but I'm going to be gentle and I'm going to tap on some more see now that it's dry we can get some more highlights on there see how nice and bright that's coming and see the texture so lots of paint on your brush but gentle so you don't lose all your underpainting your shadows good see that so just tap 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 just gentle lots of paint go get more if you need it good just keep tapping away but see how that brush where the bristles are separated then the paint will go on separate it and it'll keep you'll be able to see your underpainting coming through so let's just keep tapping on that side that's the left side good all right and now what we'll do is we'll start we have most of the paint off the brush don't get any more paint just start moving over because we want to keep that shadow on that side on the right side just tap 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 and the more paint is coming off your brush then the more you can get to keep your shadow you might have to push a little tiny bit harder if you need to tap 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 see how nice that is and you can add as much as you want as long as you can keep your shadows get this side a little bit good down here fix up your edges if you need to good and more get more paint when you need it see how nice and bright that's coming along tap away see how I'm keeping some of the shadows and now I'm going to start moving over I won't get more paint I'll just whatever is on my brush I'll just keep it on there and I'll just move it over but it's, it's got the shadows there see because I never added too much paint now we'll put the hats on and if we need more highlight and more white on our snow people, we will do that. We'll put some more on after. But right now, let's put the hats on the snow people. Let's see how we can get those on. Let's take, uh, let's see, how about a line? We'll put a line here like this, for the edge of the hat. And we'll put another line down here for the other edge of the hat and then we'll bring a line up to meet that one and we'll put another one starting at the top of that line okay so we keep that edge down there so at the top of that line and then bring it down over the snow person and down to meet the other top of the line there we go that's better and then we'll make a funny little hat just bring the line up and down and in I know it looks funny but that looks nice when we get it painted so let's do another one over here bring a line out and another line out here and let's see let's see let's bring another line here and uh, we'll put a little mark in here so we can keep some of that let's see doing it freehand is uh, that's why i'm using chalk because if it comes out really awful then we can fix it so another little half straight line up and down and in see cute okay 
I will paint those and they look much better. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a dark red. So we're going to take some red. Now I just got a smaller filbert brush or you can use a flat. All right. And I'm going to take some red and take a bit of blue, darken it up. A bit more red. Go more on the red side than the blue so you, you make it nice and red. But yet a dark red. All right. Now let's just start painting that in. Start wherever you want. Okay, and then get up against the line. And like I said, you can always take that chalk out after. Just start filling that in. Any way you can for now. Good. And what you're going to do is go around that line. So we can keep the line so that we know where we have to do our shadows. Good. And always think about your three values. As you can see here, there's a darker value, medium and light. So if you can think about those three values and everything you do, then you will uh, have a really nice painting because you have different shades brings it to life so as you can see I'll show you now in a second I'll show you there we go let's get that filled in good cute little hat. It's getting there. As you can see in this painting, you can see everything I did was three values. See the dark and the medium and the light. Everything, even, even the little sticks and the nose and the shadows and the snow. See three values and the background so that's what you have. If you could do that, then you will have some really nice paintings. They won't look flat. Now, let's get the hats done. Okay. We'll just get that hat started. Just looking at my picture. There we go. We leave that little bit of a line there just so we can see where our shadow goes. Good. Come down around the head. There we go. So you can make your hat any way you want. Darkness under here. So make sure that you get nice dark red and blue underneath here. Make a little more on the blue side so you can get that under there. Good. And here. A little bit of shadow. Maybe we'll put a little shadow here. We're getting there. We're getting there. And a little bit of a shadow underneath the rim. Oh, funny looking hat, isn't that cute? Let's try the other one. All right, there's the other one. Nice. So just a nice dark red. Get it started. Good. There we go. Ooh, nice and quiet now. Let's see if I can straighten up that edge there to fit in with that one. There we go. 
So you can straighten things up as you go along. With a cute little head. And another head, another part of your head there. Come around. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe we'll come around here. So draw your head out first before you paint it in so that you can see where you want, what kind of shape of a head you want. Now, any kind of shape you want. Good. Now we'll put the shadows underneath. Add more blue to your red. Get it nice and dark. We'll go underneath here. And underneath here. They go into your snowman. We'll fix it up after. And a little bit of shadow here. And here. Cute. And we'll put that line back in here. I might shape that up a little bit better. There we go. Cute little hats, aren't they? So simple. So we need to fix anything up. Go ahead. I think I see something over here. See? I put a little bit of a dark back there because I took it out. Cute! All right. As you can see with these, I got some sh some lighter colors, like I said, the three values. And this one here, even though it's the same size, 11 by 14, I managed to get those bigger because I want to concentrate on the uh, snow people. And this one here, it's got more background and more snow, so that's okay. You can make them smaller if you want, because you're only drawing them out with chalk. And the reason I used, I'll tell you why I use these colors, okay? I use the reds and the greens, because red and green are complementary to each other on the color wheel. So it kind of gives it that really nice, complements each other and gives it a really nice look. And purples... Uh, and yellow or are, are uh, also complementary. So, you know, try to find complementary colors and that will help you get a nice painting. You see how cute that is so far? Now, if your paint is still wet, that's okay. Take some white, clean off your brush. It might be still a bit dirty. Same brush. It's a filber, small one, probably. I don't know, size, uh, like I say, the paint is all worn off on this one now, so it could be a size th 2 or 4. So just take your brush. Actually, no, let's not do that. I think it needs another coat. So I'm going to pick up some more of my purplish color paint, dark red, I mean, and I'm going to go back over this head the second coat and you can do the same thing. If yours needs a second coat, go for it. Let's get a second coat on there first before we do anything else. So that looks much better when it's got a second coat on it. And we'll do this one. Okay, good. Now, good. Good. That's a second coat. Now with your, my brush a little dirty, I'm going to try it this way. I'm going to go into my white, just put some white on there, and we want to bring some highlight over to on the left because that's where the sun is coming in or shining on. So grab the edge of and go towards the head. Grab the edge of the line and pull in, pull in, pull in, go with the shape of the head. Don't worry if you end up going outside the lines because we'll fix that up when we put our background in. So there we go. Now because the paint is wet it will just blend in with the paint, but it's still going to highlight. We'll probably do some more highlighting when it dries. So right now if, you're, if it's wet, it's okay. Work wet on wet for now. All right, I'll get some of that highlighted. See? Good. Oh, sorry. There we go. And more white. 
and we're going to put that on the edge of this. Pull in, pull in, pull in, pull in. I turned my brush this way. On the head I turned it this way, you know, the wide side, and then I'm going to flip it around and for the tiny part I'm just going to pull it in, turn the brush around. There we go, starting to come alive. Cute little heads. So the good thing about it being wet on wet is that now you'll get your uh, second value. So your, your highest value will be when it's dry and we'll be able to get a brighter color on it. So I'm just going to put a little more on there. Because it's still wet, I want to put some more on so I can get that second value. So we already have our first value on, our darkest value. And now we're going with, turn your brush. There we go. So, as you can see, I'm going over things a couple of times. There we go. Good. Cool. Now while we're waiting for the hats to dry, let's take some black. Now, in another video I showed you how to enhance your black or make your own black. So we can do, we can make a little bit of black if you like. So I got my burnt umber and my blue. Make that nice and black. There we go. Make sure there's enough there because you need to tap into it to make the eye. You can take that color also and tap into some pure black. That way you'll have, but if you can make a lot of this one here, then you'll have this. So take your black if you have to and just add a few more colors to it. Probably a bit of red and a bit of brown, a bit of blue. And that'll give you a really nice dark black color. But yet it won't be a pure black. All right, now where are we going to put the eyes? So we want to put the eyes so that they almost look like they're watching it. They're looking at each other, okay? So let's see, let's see, let's see. Take, like I said, the edge of your brush, the back of your brush. And let's see, let's see. I'm just going to guess. There's one eye. There's another eye. Good. And then try the other one. Bring the other eye. Probably bring this over closer to the edge. It might look like she's looking over. Hi. <laughs> Good. Now with the same mixture of black, we will take I have a little mouth. There we go. Cute. I don't have as much paint on my brush because I don't want the, the dots to be too big. So what you could do if the, the back of your brush is too big, just use a, a toothpick. Take a toothpick and dip it into your black mixture. And let's go smile. Try toothpick. There we go. Hmm. She looks cranky. Smile. <laughs> okay. Now we got that done. Um, let's get started on this. Cute. Little now what we'll painting. do next is let's put a, a scarf. We'll put the nose on after. Let's put a scarf on the neck. So take your chalk and draw a line here on the back, straight line. Put another line over here on the side, on the right, and then just join them up for the scarf. Just join them up. Come underneath the neck. Make your scarf however big you want it. Just get some idea where it's going. And same with the other one. So just a straight line over here and a straight line over here. Bring the two together to meet. Curves down a little bit so it goes underneath the, the neck. And then you got another one. Good. Now we'll just color them in and then we'll do the rest. 
So I'm just still using my smaller filbert brush and I'm going to paint this one to match the head a little bit. So I'm going to put my dark red, which is red and a bit of blue. Let's see, let's see. I want to let's try this. Going around the neck. Let's go around, around, around we go. Oh, good. We can always fix up the edges after. Now the other scarf is a different color. Good. So the other scarf is on the green yellow side. So get the same brush and pick up some, let's see, let's see. Pick up some green. I want to get a darker green, so I'll add a little tiny bit of red to it, darken it up. All right, you can also add a little bit of blue to darken up too. Good. There we go. Got that? So you have it drawn out so you know where the scarf goes. Use your brush, whatever is easier for you. You can turn it, flip it around, see which way is better. Good. There we go. There we go. Getting there. Good. Cute. Now we'll do the bottom of the scarf. So all you have to do is draw out a line from here, go over the body, come out and then in, and then uh, let's see, we want to be able to see the buttons, so move over towards the right and we'll bring our scarf out and down. So, so it looks like it's uh, going to shape of the body. This one here, let's see. This one here, you can do the same thing, just make a straight line down, another line down to meet. And a sh another line, but shorter. Okay, you'll see that when I when I draw when I uh, paint it in. So let's see. Hmm. See a little bit. Just watch now when I paint it. You'll be able to see it better. Let me see if I draw it out with a pencil. Would that be better for you? So draw a line down over and down. So make sure it curves a little bit. Okay, so I think you can see that better there. I could use a marker or something, but I'm thinking you might be able to see it. There we go. And then the other one is just a straight line down, however far you want to go. Good. And then the other line comes down, but not quite as far because there's a scarf in behind there. I think that's that's better for you to see. There we go. Now we'll paint those in. And we're going to paint this one the red color. Get your small filbert brush that you're using. Get your red color, same red color as the hat. Dark color. And then fill it in. Down and curves in. Good. Good, good. And I'm just going to drag a couple little lines down here to make it look like it's a fringe on the end there. Good. Ooh. Now we'll do the other one with the green color. The dark green color. Just clean your brush. Or if you got two brushes handy, that'd be alright too. So let's just take our darker green color. And we'll put that in here. There we go. A couple little fringes. Good. Good. Now, a little bit of a fringe. And then we'll highlight that. All right. Now while we're waiting for some of that to dry, what we're going to do is, I'm going to put some snow down here, okay? I'm using a fan brush, you can use a flat brush if you like. 
as long as it's a flat uh, synthetic or sable uh, chisel edge brush it would help and all you need for down there is let's see let's make some blue a little bit of red and some white and mix that to get a nice light purplish color okay And all you have to do is now see, because I'm left handed, I start in different places. So if you're right handed, you may want to start on the opposite side that I do. Okay, we'll put some snow down here. So you might have to go into the snowman a little bit. All right, so get lots of paint blue and red. All right, so just take your blue and your red. Just put them together like that in some white. And that's all you have to do for now. And just put it on there, go back and forth. And if it doesn't mix, that's great, because you, you'd like to see some of the white anyway. So there's your snow. That's your underpainting for your snow, right? We use underpainting for almost everything because you want to do your three values. So you want to get your darkest value first. In this case, I believe. Uh, in some paintings you might have to go another way, but for this, for what I'm doing here, we'll go with the dark on our painting, and we'll start dark and go light, light, light. So there's some snow going between them. Them. I keep saying go in between them, like I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I'm lazy, but anyway, it's okay between them. I'll leave out my TH. Alright, so a bit of snow. We want to destroy all the snow. Snow person. Snowman, snow woman. It could be snow whatever. It could be a boy and a girl. It could be whatever. It's your world, you decide. You decide. All right, that's nice, look at that. Now take pure white, you don't need to clean your brush, just take pure white, Good. just fill up your brush. And like I said, you don't have to use a fan brush. Just go back over what you did. I'm using my fan brush on the chiseled edge, not, not this way right now, just on the chiseled edge. You can try the other way too, see what works best for you. This is just working for me, that's all. And I'm just putting the snow on there. But see how I'm keeping my underpainting? I'm keeping my underpainting. We'll add more highlights to that after. There we go. Might need lots of paint for this. And if the underpainting is wet, that's great. Because you can work wet on wet, and then you'll get your shadows and your highlights. It'll all work. It'll all work so easily together. It'll all blend really nice. I think that's what problem, some problems the people have. They say, I can't get my paint to blend. It doesn't seem, it's like it's just lines and it doesn't seem to look right or whatever. But I think it's because it, the paint dries and then you try to put your highlights or your, uh, you try to blend, but it's not going to blend because when the acrylic's dry and you put another color over it, it's just going to, um, it's just going to cover up what's underneath when it's dry. But when it's wet, wet on wet, the two paints are wet, so my underpainting is wet, and I'm putting wet paint over it. See how it blends really nice? And you can still see some of your underpainting. See how nice that is? Right. See? That's your snow. And we'll put some more highlights on it. We're not finished yet. Not getting away that easy. Now let's make some buttons. Now I picked up a little top that I found on one of my paintings, on one of my paints. I just took the top off. So you can find something very small and round. This will be much easier for you. And you can take the top of that. I don't know how big you want it. Maybe those buttons are too big. But you can use either side. The other side's a bit smaller, but I'm just going to leave it big for now. And I'm going to dip into my black, brown, red, you know, the darker colors. I didn't use pure black. 
I mix a few things to get a few colors together to give the, the black a little bit of a boost and I'm going to pick a spot for my buttons touch and pull don't move it around just touch good so now you can paint in that inside of that you see it there we go and let's do the other one so the buttons on the other one let's see let's see she's turned towards we'll have to put them probably around here one I'm just going to give two I think two is fine you can have three or four if you like you can have smaller ones whatever whatever you want to do and then you just take a very small brush a smallest brush you can find small I got a little tiny filbert brush here whoops and I'm starting to really like these filbert brushes and then we're going to take that brown black brown red green whatever colors you want to mix together with your black to give it a nice black and I'm going to fill that in there just fill it in now your circle is already there so you don't have to worry about it too much just get a little bit of a steady hand if you don't have a steady hand then fine just if you go outside the lines no big deal now he's filling in with a bit of snow again after so so easy there we go good 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 there we go there we go now those two buttons are done we'll do the other ones now choose that line to, to uh, guide you you could be sitting down doing this so it might be much easier for you get an easel you can stand up in front of it that's better on you whatever ever makes you comfortable just be happy just make yourself happy to our filbert brush a really nice one size six probably and let's go with the background this time let's go back and do the background so we'll get a kind of a greenish I don't know we could add a bit of blue maybe a little bit of red might get mixed in with it I don't know let's try it and some white so let's start off with some let's see let's see how about some green how about green and let's see a little bit of green and a little bit of blue and let's try putting a bit of white in there check your color first before you put it on just to make sure you're happy with it all right so i'm just going to put that up so we're just going to work around all right we're just going to work around the hat work around it and this way now you can straighten up your edge see look clean up your edges there while you're putting on your background color good so a bit of green a little bit of blue that's all I'm doing just testing out the colors some white whatever color you mix add white to it that will brighten it up for you and then you put some more in here I kind of like the fact that a little bit of red got stuck in there, but a little bit. If you put too much, it's going to be too, look, see? So we don't want that. Let's try again. And a bit of blue. All right, and some white. The white is what's going to really bring it out for you, okay? Good. See, now you can see a little bit of red in there. That will match the hat. This is your complementary color green and red all right so mix up your colors make a good batch of it because then you don't have to be going back and forth but you don't want it's okay for it to change color 
I find, because then you'd have all different colors in your sky, rather than just this one boring, one boring color. Good. Go around the head. Scary. We can do this. All right. If you mess up, try not to get, you know, oh my goodness, I, I messed up. Try, you know, to not worry too much. Do your best. And if you do mess up, just go back in with your red and put it back on your head. Okay, good. I'm just going to pick up some white. Mix it with that. I like mixing my colors right on the canvas. There we go. Now, let's keep that going. All right. You can even change up the shape of your head a little bit if you wanted to. Now, see all these edges here? Now you can clean those up. Shape up your head a little bit. See that? So nice. So much fun, isn't it? Yep. Especially when you when you create it yourself. When I wanted to do this painting, I, I was looking around different pictures and I couldn't come up with anything that I really liked. So I said, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and, and do something and do it out of my head with the techniques I've learned over the years, of course. I mean, I, I would I would need to know, have some knowledge of what to do with highlights and shapes and different things like that. But I said, you know, I'm going to put something together without any pictures. Sometimes I use pictures to help guide me. Lots of free pictures online there. And I just said, I'm just going to see what comes out. And I thought it was really cute. I, this is actually um, a request from uh, a subscriber. I'm trying to do as many subs as requests as I can for you. So, you know, when you see some of the videos, you'll say, oh, I've requested that one. A lot of more requested. I get so many requests, I try my best. I'm kind of a little bit, you know, try to do the easiest ones first, because sometimes the requests are, are things that I, I have a hard time. I need to practice and get it done properly first before I go out and try to teach you something, and I want to teach it to you wrong. So, if I didn't get to your request, it's only because I might have been having problems trying to uh, figure it out. I'll tell you one request I got, and I, I really want to get it figured out soon. And that's a nice white rose, I think, on a, on a back, a black background. I, I want to do that really nice, so I'm going to have a look at that after. And what other requests do I get? I got a request for somebody jumping out of water. A person jumping out of water and I'll splash. I could probably do that one. Um... Um, just trying to think now. I got them all written down. And some people have requested tropical uh, beach. I already have that done. I'm trying to think of the ones I don't have done. Let's see. So keep working on your background. Good. Might be a little tedious, but you know, you need to take, when you're doing a painting, you need to have that time where you don't have anything else that's going to interfere. Don't take away from, any, from anything that's important. But, you know, if you're going to do a painting uh, and you want to spend some time at it, it might take a few hours, if you could get that time just for painting with no interruptions, it's so relaxing. It's just like your time, you know? It's like it's your time and you, and you can look, concentrate on it and think about it and, and take all your worries away. So, just solve for yourself because if you have, if you pick a time when it's really busy and you got to uh, leave it and you're right in the middle of it and you're doing it really good, it's like you don't want to leave it. So try to pick a time that uh, that you don't have to leave it. 
you know, and that's not easy for a lot of people. I understand all that. So I like to just mention a few things in case, you know, and I know you're, you're probably saying, well, I do that. You know, so that's good. That's perfect. Just trying to give you a little few encouraging words. Now, because I have a tape, a video, I should say, on uh, 10 ways to get motivated to paint and inspired. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but I can leave a link if you want. But check out my videos. 10 ways to get motivated. All right. Almost done. So I just moved away a little bit there and filled in the sides because I had to, I had to get in front of the, uh, I couldn't reach it, so I had to get in front of the camera. So that's, that's why. <laughs> so anyway, I was going to say that when you get down here, just lighten it up a little bit. A little bit here. A little bit there. Hey, a little lighter on this side because that's where the sun is coming in. Anyway, that's coming along. So you can do that as nice as you want. Take your time. See how the green makes it come out really nice, though? That's because it's complementary to red. Good. Now maybe we can put a few little clouds in the sky, or you can leave it plain like that. So let's put a nose down here. So I'm going to take a pencil so you can see it, because you couldn't see the chalk. I'm just going to make a, let's see, let's see, a straight line right between the eyes, okay? Straight line right between the eyes. Let's see. There it is. Good. And then I'm just going to make a line coming out. Depends how big you want your nose. Just come out. And then take the other line up to meet that line. There we go. See how simple that was? So hopefully you can see that. Take the top line as straight out. And then the bottom line comes up to meet that line. Good. And let's do the other one. So, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. In between the eyes, a straight line. You can have any kind of nose you want. This is just something I put in the painting. And we're going to have the nose facing towards here so they look like they're looking at each other. So, straight line out is fine. And then the other line comes up to meet that one. Good. Okay, so now let's do fill in the um, the carrot nose. So I'm going to get you to get a little tiny flat brush, flat as tiny as you can find, to get in there and pick up some red and just tap into some yellow. No need to mix it together. Just tap into some yellow and some red, and we'll start from the back and pull out, okay? So, get that in there as best you can. I got a little bit of water on my brush. For some reason I keep doing that and I keep telling you guys what to do and here I am. What not to do and here I am. Here I am. Alright, so let's get that on there. So use the, the pencil or the chalk mark to keep you on track. Good. Just fill it in. Perfect. Good. Carrot nose. You shape it up as best you can after. And go over the lines that you made. Don't want those lines showing. Let's try the other one. See how when you put on the red and the yellow, you don't mix them together? It does it on the canvas. And I'm going to put that on there. It'll do it for you on the canvas. And you got your. See? That's it. <laughs> you didn't have to do anything. We'll put a highlight on it though. Okay, coming along. Now you can use that small brush again. Clean it off and just put some white on there. A little bit of white, a little bit of green. Like your palette is probably pretty dirty. So get some white and just pick up a little bit. You might be able to pick up a bit of green, red, doesn't matter. Let's put in a couple little clouds. 
just all you have to do if you don't want clouds you may not need them this to me needs a second coat so I'm not going to do that right now but it uh, looks to me like the background needs a second coat but I'm just going to show you how to do some clouds so just touch and wiggle 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 there's a cloud touch and wiggle 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 bring it out a little thinner in the end there touch and wiggle 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 touch and wiggle 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 <laughs> I know there we go just wherever you want them just touch and wiggle there we go I'll just put a few little up there just to, to show you that you can put them in it's pretty simple okay very simple ideas now now get out your liner brush the little skinny liner brush okay and we're going to do the twigs on the arms all right so all you have to do for that is drag your brush through some let's see let's see let's see let's drag it through some black and a bit of brown just drag it through just fill up your brush I think that's that's fine let's see what happens all right so now we're going to pick a spot for the arms there is uh let's see let's see this could there we go there we go good need more paint just put it on there touch and pull push it if your brush is really skinny just push it in hard do another one on the other side now now remember more than likely there were kids building these right so if your stick is really really uh, crooked or you know you, the, the funnier it looks the better because little kids build snowmen and women and girls and boys and they they just they don't think about oh that doesn't that looks crooked or you know maybe they do but it's not something you really have to worry about it's more fun the, the funnier it is the more fun it is let's see let's see okay good see that's cute isn't it so think in your mind when you're doing these snow people that the kids your kids if you have any or next door neighbors kids or somebody came out and built these snow people and they were having fun so the more funnier the hats look the scarves the nose anything at all the, the more funny it looks it it'd be better this is what this painting is all about it's about two snow people that the kids came out and built and had some fun and they just found little rocks and things that they could put in put on the snow people and they just picked up whatever was around them and maybe these sticks were a little bit off you know and probably cracked in some places you know mm. so maybe there's some see so don't worry about things being perfect this this is a painting that you're going to use your imagination uh, where like I said the kids were building these snow people and they found these hats probably uh, being thrown out or something you know or you know and they picked up a few twigs off the ground or uh, they found a few old carrots uh, in the fridge right probably found a scarf in the cupboard that was there for years and never got used anything so make it as funny as you can as long as you can get your highlights and your shadows it'll look really cute so let's make some adjustments now so our shadows and our highlights and finish it off and uh, so what I'm going to do is make my really dark red purple color some bit of red and a bit of blue make a really dark this is your shadow this is a shadow color we're going to put underneath the hat here good let's have our shadows that's what makes things come to life good and over here and then you can uh, clean up anything that needs to be cleaned up any edges and we get a bit of a shadow underneath here all right get that under there I'll be doing wonderful I'm making it a bit too thick so just be careful it's only because I'm standing up and I'm leaning over so a little bit of a awkward positions I always tell you because I don't want you to think 
I'm just being, uh, you know, lazy and not doing it the proper way. Okay, so that is a little bit dark, or a little bit wide, so try to keep it up as close underneath the head as you can. I'm going to fix that with some paint. Not to worry, and it's good that you see my mistakes, because then you can, I can show you how to fix them. So up here on the brim, we'll do another, another shadow. Let's do all our shadows now. Alright, let's see, where would that shadow go? I wonder, right here. All right, I think that's a nice little shadow place for a shadow. And let's do, let's find some more places for shadow. Let's see, a little bit over here in this corner, I think might be nice. On the scarf. I'm gonna leave the light over here. And then a shadow in here. Now you can have different color hats. I was going to do different color hats, but um, I thought the two red ones were kind of cute. I don't know why. All right. So the shadows will bring this to life. There we go. See how this, you know, shaping up. Keep going with your shadows. Let's go underneath this one again. Try. Oh no, 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 no. There we go. Okay. And a little bit of shadow here. Good. All right, that's shaping up a little better. The shadow here is too blue. I'm gonna add a bit of red to it, okay? Now, it's kind of a shadow, like it's almost like a, it could be even a, a ribbon or something on the head. So whatever your imagination, wherever your imagination takes you, go there. Go there and have some fun. Good. Okay, so let's add some more highlight to the snow people. And we're going to get our bristle brush and some more white pure white this time and you're just going to go and touch good and just touch tap 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 and bring out there we go good you just want to highlight that a bit more just to brighten it up see I got lots of white but I'm just tapping very gentle all right we want to keep some of the shadows did you ever do a painting and you were playing around with it and you kept playing around with it and then you should and then after you did something that you didn't like did you ever say to yourself I should have left it alone <laughs> that happened to me today by the way yes it did and I said to myself I should have left it alone it was so nice and then I fooled it up and it took me an hour to fix it again oh my okay I just thought I'd pass it on because I'm sure we all go through that every now and then. So put some highlights wherever you want them. Brighten it up a little bit more. There we go. Let's add a little bit more highlight to our snow. Just pick up pure white. Put some snow underneath here. Don't forget to try and keep as much. Now this is all dry now. So we're putting on highlights over dry paint. So we're working wet on dry. So. Uh, you're going to have to be careful to separate so that you don't lose what's underneath. Alright, just a little highlight there on top. That's all. Just a little bit right here with your fan brush. Yep, there we go. And you can have more snow there if you want. You can want to have whatever you want in this painting, okay? You can add your own ideas. Okay, there we go. There we go. So that's more highlights on the snow. There we go. So you can have as many highlights on it as you want. Good. We only have a few more highlights left and then we're finished. We're finished. I'll be finished, but you can keep going, okay? 
just because I'm finished don't mean you can be finished. I'm only finishing because I don't want the, the video to go on for like three days. Which this will be done in more, more than likely this one is going to be done in three or four or five lessons. Okay, so I'll be putting them up every couple of days and you keep your eyes out for them. All right, and that will give you a chance then to study them and probably start not a lesson one while you're waiting for the other lessons to come out because this is a pretty long video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight, uh, let's highlight the, um, let's see, let's see, the heads. Let's highlight the heads. So just get out your flat brush. Let's get a brush. Okay, I can't find one. There we go. Just get out your flat brush. Maybe your, you know, the one that you use, like your filbert or something like that. And let's see, let's see. I get a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so just get some pure white. All every all the highlights we're going to do now, we're going to have just white. Okay, so up, pull in from the side of the head with your filbert. Touch and pull in. Touch and pull in. Touch and pull in. Touch, pull. Touch, pull. Touch, pull. Good. 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 I know I say good a lot. I know. <laughs> Can't help it. It's so good. Alright. And then here. Good. Let's go in here. There we go. And also, a little bit on the rim of the hat here. A little bit of highlight. That's it there. Okay, you might need a little bit more white. Brighten it up a bit more. Just more to the left. Okay, because we don't want to go too far near. We don't want to lose our. Uh, we don't want to lose our, our shadow. Okay, now let's do this one over here. Over here. Now, like I said, the paint is all dry now, so you don't want to lose. See how you, it just covers up what's underneath because you're doing dry on wet. And so it covers it up, so just make sure you stay on that edge there so you don't lose all of your underpainting. Good, and then we'll just do the edge here. Turn your flip your brush if you have to. Okay, so make sure you flip your brush around, you know, to make sure that it works good for you. Okay, so there we go. Good, now let's go in here a little bit on the edge, just a little bit the edge. Right. Nice. I was thinking about putting some snowflakes in there, but I'm not going to do it, but you can do it. You can put snowflakes in by using a toothpick and some tapping on some white dots, okay? Or you can splatter your snow on there. And uh, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, just email me and um, I'll explain to you or I'll send you to a video maybe. See if I got a video there with uh, the splattering on it. Anyway, so now let's highlight the little sticks. I'm going to use yellow for that and I'm going to use a little tiny liner brush, okay? A bit of yellow on the very edge here. Just jump over a few spots. Don't uh, stay in one spot. Just lay it on there anywhere you can get it. There we go. See? Now, that's all you got to do. Is put it on the edge. Put it on the edge. Living on the edge. Alright. There we go. See? It sort of covers up that darkness a bit. Yeah, I'd like just a little bit of light shining on there. Good. Just a little bit. As bright as you want. That's that much done. You see it? There we go. Good. Now. Perfect. So now we're going to highlight the scarf. So this time, pick up a little bit of yellow for the red. A little bit of red, yellow. Just a little bit. There we go. And just put some little streaks of yellow there. Not nothing, you know, nothing. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Let's see. 
not big blobs of it, but just little tiny streaks. And some right here, a little bit down here, and down on the fringe. Okay, and yellow on the scarf. So, all you have to do is boom, boom, pull in a few streaks. Good, and then you just pull a little bit down here. All right, and then some down here, just very haphazardly in your little fringes. Good, I think, I think we're good. So, let's take a bit of the dark green again, just a little bit. Dark green is a bit of blue and green. And just put that back in here, we get too much. So, fix anything that you're, you're not happy with. Now, what else can we do? I would think, just a couple more little things. I could do this, like, for, I could do this for many, many hours. I'm not getting tired of it. So, I'm going to put a little bit of highlight on top of this nose. Just to brighten it up a little bit. That one's already good. There we go, just a little bit of highlight on top of that one. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I can do for you. It's really cute though, isn't it? I think it's so cute. Let's try, I think, you know what, remember I said I should have left it alone? I think I'm going to leave it alone. I can see a few things that I like to try to do, like put a little bit of shadow behind the nose and around the buttons and stuff, but you know what? I'm a little bit nervous about, because I did it today and I fooled it up just by putting some extra shadows and stuff in and then I, I messed it up. But I do have to fix a shadow here. Here we go. I'm probably going to say it. I should have left it alone. Anyway, I'm going to try. I'm going to tap that there. I'm going to tap it. Tap, tap, tap. I think I'm going to leave it alone. There we go. There we go. I Yeah, that's what can get you in trouble. You just keep poking and poking. But I like it. I think it's cute. I don't know if you like it or not, but I think you do. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I... Well, I really like it. Came out so nice. So that was the one I was I did today, and I, and then I decided to do another. So they're a bit different. See, they're a bit different, but they're still cute. Two of them. See, aren't they cute? And um, anyway, if you got any questions, you can always email me. And um, I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment in below. Let me know if you did enjoy it. And you can like and subscribe and all that good stuff so you can get all my other new videos coming up. i got lots more. I have so many ideas and so many requests. I can't wait to get at them. So you have a great day. And Alison Pryor is signing out. See you in the next video. much for painting along with me and I hope you enjoyed that painting and if you liked this video then you can subscribe so you can get more free videos and you can like share if you could if uh, you think it could help other people and if you have any questions just leave it in the comments section below and uh, you or you can email me at alisonpryoryahoo.com so I'll see you in the next video